All right, guys, if you remember, uh, recently I was sent a little diagnostic tool, uh, the e diag from King Bolin. And uh, I've, I've actually, I've started using it a little bit, and um, it's a pretty decent little scanner. And I've actually, I've been using it for some stuff other than just scanning. And one of the things I've found that it is pretty good at is something that my Autel will not do. Um, I'm not sure if other Autels will do it or not. Let me turn my Autel on here. So uh, I have this Cummins CM848 uh, on the bench here. Uh, this is the 02 to you know 0559 ECUs, and uh, these are pretty difficult to write the VIN in with a lot of tools and um, so I have my Autel logged in here and as you, you can see there's no special functions like we can go into the ECU information and it will pull up the calibration ID and the year and some basic info but there's no VIN there now we can look around here and we see there's no special functions and um, there's no VIN right now I have a the this is the 908 Autel maybe the Elite can do it but I swear they use the same software so I don't I don't know but you know I've always just done the VIN rights you know manually through the EEPROMs a lot and um, I, I've never had a scanner that has been able to write the VIN on these and I heard other people say the same thing well it turns out that this little scanner here very affordable by the way I don't know if you watched my last video I think it's I think it's less than a hundred bucks but turns out this little guy right here can actually write the VIN so I'm gonna hook it in and this connects to your phone with Bluetooth and I have my phone up here on the screen so I'm in the software here let's go to all system diagnostics I gotta wait a second for it to load I'm going to go here to Dodge. Now, I just reflashed this ECU. And, you know, when you flash the 0 02 to 0, I guess, 7, actually, 5.9 ECUs for the Cummins, uh, it deletes the VIN number. So you always have to rewrite the VIN number. Okay, so I, I'm in the Dodge here. Well, actually, I'm not. I'm in the 16 pin. It says special functions here. I'm not sure what's in that menu, but I'm going to go into Dodge first. And then I'm going to go straight into 2004. I'm going to go into Ram Truck. And now here we can do the system scan, which I don't need to do. You can do the system selection, which is going to take us into the ECU. Uh, we can just select PCM. It's same thing. In general, it's the same. I mean, technically, it's different. Uh, PCM is powertrain control module, and ECM would be, you know, engine control module, where the uh, PCM is typically, you know, engine and transmission functions. Okay, so we are in the ECU here. Now we can read codes, we can check the module information. This pops up just like the uh, Altel did where it's got the uh, calibration. You see I have the, the new calibration there, the AN, that's the updated one. It's just got the same basic information there. Uh, but this one actually has the special functions menu. And if we look in here, look at this, we see CM84X, because there's different, you know, 848, well, there's like 846, there's 849. Uh, this one is 848. So we're going to go ahead and hit check VIN. Now this should be all Ys because, like I said, I just flashed it. So, yeah, this doesn't show as Ys. It just shows as X. But uh, we are going to write the actual VIN number. If I can remember what the actual VIN number is, I guess I should have wrote it down before i done that, isn't it? Uh, so let, let me pause this and find the VIN number. I think I have it here. Okay, so I found the VIN here. Let's go ahead and get that entered. So it's three. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do caps just in case. I, I really wish um, this was on a tablet instead of my phone. I'm, I'm using a uh, special phone for I'm not using my normal phone. I'm kind of dedicated this phone to, uh, you know, just uh, this and a couple of other things. Let me see. Three, four, G, three, four, G, one, seven, five, one, seven, five, four, nine, nine. Okay, so let me double check this. We got three D seven K U, three D seven K U, two eight C three four, two eight C three four, G seventeen. 17, 5, 4, 9, 9, 5, 4, 9, 9. Okay, so that is right. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And currently it's supposed to be writing. It says it wrote successfully. Uh, so I want to clear DTCs. I'm going to hit yes. We're going to hit yes. I'm going to hit OK. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to power it off. I'm going to power it back on. And now I want to hit check VIN with the uh, tool here and look there's our event so yeah that is a very useful feature from this tool that makes it worth it for me already because i do a slew of these uh five nine controllers